Hi there and welcome back to Larkin Design and so I'm Teresa Moxley and today I'm on my phone and I wanted to just show you a real quick tutorial about how to bring in your Ali Edwards journaling cards or for that matter any other journaling cards that you have saved as a JPEG into your Project Life app and um, what inspired me and made me make that jump is that yesterday Kathy Zielski on her blog she showed how to bring in your PNG files into your photos um, and she was using the Letter Glow app and so I was playing around in that a little bit and I'll link I'll link to that in my blog I'll link to her to her blog um, and she shows you how to go into that app and um, place your PNGs on your photos. And then I thought, well, duh, anything that you have saved as a JPEG can also be brought into the Project Life app um, so that you don't have to just use Becky Higgins um, cards. You can use your Ali Edwards cards as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And um, so you're actually going to start out in your on your computer um, because that's probably where you have your Ali Edwards um, kits saved or your cards or wherever it is that you have them saved. You're going to want to go into Dropbox and put those files into Dropbox. Um, and so I did that yesterday. I put some of my Ali Edwards cards into my Dropbox and they're saved. So now when I'm on my phone, I can go into Dropbox and I can see here are the images from the um, old and new story kit. And so anything that's a JPEG can be brought into the Becky Higgins Project Life app to be used. So, um, for example, that's one of the journaling cards. So, do that. You don't have to bring in all of your journaling cards, but you can bring it, like, if you're working... This month I'm working with Old and New. So, I have Old and New saved on my Dropbox, and next month, or, you know, when the new kit arrives, later this month, I'll probably delete that off of the Dropbox um, since it's still saved in my computer. So I'll be able to delete that off of my Dropbox and put the new. And that way you're not completely overwhelmed with choices um, because obviously you don't need to have all your Ali Edwards kits saved on your computer and in your Dropbox. Um, but but um, that way I can access these cards through the app when I'm doing my um, digital layouts on my phone. So now that those are in your Dropbox, we're going to exit out of Dropbox and go into your Project Life app. And when you go in the Project Life app, you have four little um, squares. Your circle is divided into four little pieces of pie. And this is the one that you go to when you want to start a fresh layout and your library is the pie that lets you access what's on your phone. So what's on my phone right now and the reason why I'm going in here is because I have a layout that I already sort of played around with. Um, this, this part of the app lets you access your layouts that, are, that you're working on that you've completed and also lets you see your card kits. These are the ones that I have right now um, and then the ones that are still available for purchase um, and most of them are really affordable. They're like a dollar or two dollars each. Um, so I'm going to go in here to this completed layout and I'm just going to show you real quick. Now I can still make edits on this and um, so this layout is next in my queue for um, what I'm working on in my Project Life album and all of these blocks here are opportunities to bring in either photo or one of the Becky Higgins journaling cards. 
So if I click on that, that little icon, that brings up the card kits. But instead of the card kits, let me exit out of that, I'm going to press the photos. And the photos are going to bring up either the camera roll, what you have saved on your camera, or your um, Pick Tap Go photos, if you put a PNG on a photo, or um, you did some editing, those photos are in there, your Instagram photos, and here's where your Dropbox is. And so then, when you click on Dropbox, there's your Ali Edwards Story Kit, and you're old and new, and there's all your images for the old and new Story Kit. So, we want a um, journaling card, and I picked one, I picked one that, um, I think it's this one, Our Lives Are Connected, and there we go. It's going to bring you a, a little message, that, that's fine, add the photo anyway, and then you can sort of tweak it a little bit, you can move it, because I think this one is 3 by 4 and so I think that's why it's giving me that message. Now, if I decide that's not where I want that card, I can hold it, press and hold it, and it will, there we go, it will let you, it'll jump out of that block and it'll let you put it into a different block. So you can put it into a 3 by 4 block and it'll, it'll change places if you had something in that block already. Um, let's say I wanted to switch it out with the photo. Then it'll move that photo over. Um, and here we can put the photo back in that space. And that'll put that card back there. Um, and you can also, you can sort of manipulate those photos a little bit too. Um, once they're in there, you can move it around a little bit. There we go. Um, so, and obviously, you know, this isn't a final layout or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is. Go back into to this journaling card and go back into my Dropbox and bring up the old and new kit and pick. And, and I, I'm not, I haven't been in the old and new story kit enough to know which ones are 4 by 6 so that's kind of what, what I'm, I don't know which ones are, but, but that's okay. You can still sort of tweak the 3x4 ones as well in the 4x6 slots, or you can just use photos or um, pick, let's see what that one looks like. There we go. Yeah, it's going to give me that message too. But you can still, you know, work with those and they still look fine when you print them out. Um, it's just letting you know that it's a, it's, a, it's not the card that's designed for that space, but you can still use it, obviously. So hopefully that has been a really quick and really short and really easy tutorial on how to use your Ali Edwards journaling cards in the Becky Higgins Project Life app and so I hope you enjoy that and feel free to leave a comment and like and subscribe and then I will see you soon with the layouts showing how I how I print these out and embellish these later on in the week. I'll see you later. Bye.